Hello friends and colleagues. Today we are going to go over how to set up a Google business listing for a adult foster care home that my husband is starting. I'm going to use his as an example. So first thing you'll want to do is log in to businessgoogle.com slash business and just make sure you're signed into the email address that you would like to start the business listing under because that's how you'll manage it as well. Then you're going to enter the business name. And then you'll mark the type of business that this is. So we're gonna say um, local store and that's it for now. We'll change it later if we need to. Business category. So let's see what comes up. Specific service. Let's see if it has adult. Yeah, that's the only one that makes sense. So you would obviously put massage therapist, massage spa, Sports massage therapist, you can choose whichever main category fits you best. Business address, so um, I am going to use a not true address right now because I am, don't have the address. So we need to verify. I'm just going to have it send it to my phone number. I just got that via text. It was accepted. Great. Okay, so when are we open for business? I'm going to skip this for now because we're not actually open yet. So I'm going to just skip. Add messaging. Do I want customers to be able to message? I actually don't want this, but people can message you through your Google business profile, which is pretty cool. And you get that via an email when they do. Um, I am not going to do that right now because I don't, we're not open and I don't know what messaging platforms I'm going to be managing. So um, we're going to say no for now. Turn on call history so you can see who calls you through the Google business listing. Like they just click the call button when you're on it. So I'm going to leave that on. And then add a business description. I actually went ahead and wrote this on a um, Google Doc so that I can easily use it across the web. So basically you'll want to describe your business and the things that people will want to know about you. In this case, I wrote up a little blurb about how we're family owned. We offer high quality care, um, our experienced team. Um, we want to make people feel comfortable. We offer healthy home cooked meals. Um, we have activities, we have furnished rooms and what our mission is. Things that I think family members will want to know when they're considering putting their families into a care home. And you can see that you have 750 words to work with here. So we're just under that. Okay, add photos. I'm not going to do that because obviously I don't have any yet. Um, I will claim my credit. I'm going to put that in a different window and I'll come back to that in a separate video. Okay. 
So now what it's doing is showing me my listing, which is not visible to customers because it needs to be verified by Google. And it just has some basic stuff. Um, so, you know, it's not a very built out listing. Let's see if we can see what comes up when we put in Massage Portland, Oregon. So we have a few different listings. This is my old um, business that now is owned by the massage therapist who once worked for me. So you can see their listing is, they have their name, they have Google reviews, they have massage therapist in Portland, Oregon, their address, their hours, and you can see all of their hours here, their website. Um, they don't have their phone number listed. You can ask questions and you can see what people have asked, which is cool. Um, popular times. You can see images of inside the space. You can see their reviews, which they have a really nice amount of reviews. You can see their description and then any posts that they've written their social profiles, other businesses like them, and then web results that show up. So they have their website, they have um, their booking site, and things that Google's pulling in as the most popular search results for their practice. Um, we can pull up another one here, maybe Mudra. Um, you can see the same info for them. So that's what yours will look like once it's all set up. And I'll come back once Google has verified my listing. I don't believe it's probably happened yet. Um, yeah, so we'll come back to this once Google has verified it and we'll work through what to do next.